Hello, good afternoon. My name is Bimbo. Welcome to our channel once again. For those of you who are just seeing us for the first time, Jackpot with your days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information on how you can jackpot to Portugal, to Austria, and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. Among the things that we also talk about on this channel is the general lifestyle of living in Portugal. Those are some of the things we also cover or talk about on this channel because we reside in Portugal, so it is essential. We, 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 we see it as a useful information to provide you some essential information that we believe that uh, you will need to be able to navigate or integrate into Portugal when you eventually relocate or jack back to Portugal. Now, uh, prior to now, I've, I've um, done a video on the BSc, MSc, and PhD opportunities that are there in Austrian universities. And I've also talked about uh, the, uh, the school fees that all programs, PhD, MSc, BSc, that they pay, the English opportunities, the English uh, taught courses, all courses taught in English, among other opportunities in different universities. I've, I've done uh, extensively uh, videos on, on those opportunities, on those regard. Now, but what I want to talk about today is um, the deadline of admissions in Austrian universities, the scholarship opportunities that are there in Austrian University. Also, I want to talk about the uh, necessary documents that you need to um, have to be able to apply to this um, 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 admission, so to be able to apply to admission or for admission in Austrian University. Those are the three things I want to quickly talk about today. Now, before we go ahead, don't forget, if you are just seeing us for the first time, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also share it with, um, um, you know, uh, on your group, share it among your family members. This information will be particularly relevant to those you believe and love to jackpot this year. You are not the only one that wants to jackpot. A whole lot of people want to also jackpot. So this information will be very, very helpful to them. So please like and subscribe and also share it to your loved ones. Now, in Austria, I, I mean, before before now, I have stated it clearly that Austria has the cheapest and the lowest tuition fees across programs, across courses, across universities in, in, in Austria. I mean, there are universities in terms of the school fees that you pay in Austria is the cheapest in Europe. I have so far, not seen any school or any country that has the lowest or the cheapest school fees so far in Europe. Now, and that is because the government of Austria, they, they, they regulated the school fees, they subsidized the school fees for both the EE or EU citizen and also international citizens. So, which, which is why as an international applicant, the highest school fees that you can expect to pay per semester is 720 to 750 euro which means in a semester sorry in a session you are paying about 1450 or 1500 maximum school fees 1500 euro maximum school fees that is what you are expected to pay in austrian university regardless of the courses name it medicine nursing i mean regardless of the program they met, they have the cheapest and the lowest tuition fee across Austrian universities. Yes, that is because the government, like I said, has regulated or subsidized the school fees across universities and across all programs. Now, to 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 begin with, let's talk about um, the. Uh, I want to talk about nine to ten universities. The deadline that you need to apply for their admissions. And I want to talk about different scholarship opportunities that are there in each of these universities that you will want to apply to in Austria. Okay, so also, um, like I said, don't forget to like and to also subscribe to uh, this channel. So let's quickly go to the first point, the document that you need to apply to all these programs or these courses in Austria. And I need, I need to quickly mention 
that especially for Nigerians and the English-speaking part of Africa, you do not need to verify, legalize, or authorize your document before using it to apply for admissions, both for BSc, MSc, or PhD programs in Austria. I need to repeat that. You do not need to apply for, sorry, you do not need to verify, legalize, or authorize your document in Nigerian Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, or their embassy before using that document. By document, I mean certificate, transcript, and the likes. You don't need to verify, legalize, and authorize this document before using it to apply for admission. It is until when you have been given admission that you can now use or that you can now start to authorize, legalize, on, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, legalize your document to be able to get residence permit and, uh, um, 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 and visa. And I've also talked about the step-by-step -step procedure that you also need to be able to apply for residence permit, uh, verify your document, legalize your document, and also apply for visa. After I've dealt extensively about that on a separate video in, on me, on this channel. So look for it. That will be very, very, very helpful to you. So this document, these are the documents that you need to apply for the admission. If you are looking for BSc program to apply to in Austria, you need your WAEC, your GC, your NECO. This are the, uh, what is it called that you need? Then if you are, luckily, if you are working, you can also get a reference letter from an employer or from any any educational instructor, maybe your lecturer or your lesson instructor, but let it be in a letter added paper of an organization. So that way it will look professional. So as for BSc, you will only need your WIEC, GC, or NECO, or an, a reference letter to apply for BSc admission. But if you are seeking to apply for master's or PhD, you need your degree certificate and your transcript to apply for admission. So only the student copy transcript. They don't need you to send the, uh, um, um, what is it called? The original, they don't need you to send the original to them. Only just apply for student copy transcript or certificate in each of your universities. So for uh, MSc and PhD, student copy transcript will do justice to you applying for admission. Also, uh, because you are from an English-speaking country and you want to apply to an English-speaking course, they want to know whether you speak English or whether you understand English perfectly. So you need to apply for what is called English Proficiency Certificate. But if you already have IELTS, that's, then you don't need to apply for English Proficiency Certificate. But if you don't want to do IELTS, just go to your school exams and record and apply for what is called English Proficiency Certificate. That will give you a, a, a waiver for the IETS exams that you need to do. So the letter will state that you, for four years of your program or two years for master, you were taught in English. So that is the waiver that you need. So your international passport is another document, your um, English proficiency certificate, your CV. I also did a video on how you can design your CV in an EU format. This is, you are applying to an EU university, I mean, to a university in the EU. So you need to design your CV in a format that they will see that, oh, this guy knows what he or she is doing. So design your CV in EU format and then your CV, your international passport, your degree transcript, your um, uh, certificate and for WIEC. And of course, generally, both for MSc, BSc and PhD, your reference letter is also a very important document and also finally both for all programs motivation letter you also need motivation letter or what they call purpose statement so design a very good purpose statement so that it will increase your chances at getting this admission now let's quickly look at the deadline and the scholarship opportunities that are there in each of these universities, I, I, I did a research to about 10 or 9 universities in Austrian, uh, in, in, I mean, the universities in Austria. So uh, about 9 to 10 universities, which are the most popular. They have I mean, very many of them. So you can, in your own personal time, do extensive research. So I'm just going to be providing you the deadline for BSc. Mind you, BSc program in terms of the deadline is a little different across all universities 
compared to MSc and PhD deadlines for applying for admission. However, what I have observed is that as by 31st of March, majority of the universities in Austria, all applications will close for international applicants coming from Africa. Let me be specific. Um, let me be specific. From Africa by 31st of March, all their universities, some will close by 20th, some will close by 31st, some will close by 21st or 20th of March. But, you know, uh, most of their admission has started from the 8th of January this month. Application has started already from the 8th of January, but the deadline for BSc is different from deadline for MSc and PhD. So let's quickly check each of the deadlines for these universities and the corresponding scholarship in each of these universities in Austria. And if you have made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is also very important. It's very, very important to us that you like and subscribe to our channel. That is how the YouTube management sees that our channel is providing relevant information to the public. So come with me. Let me quickly show you uh, the deadline for each of these universities and the corresponding scholarship. So the first university that I'll be talking about today is University of Leoben. Yes, University of Leoben. So I had to take a screenshot of all of these pages because I'm talking about nine to ten universities. So it will be very difficult going to each of their websites. And you know, while I'm speaking speaking with you, it will take a whole lot of time. So that's why I took a screenshot of each of their admission deadlines or timeline. So the first university, like I said, University of Leoben. So their application has already started. Admission has already been uh, has already, has, has already opened for BSc, MSc, and PhD, and it started from 8th of January, and it's going to end on the 31st of March. So, which means if you want to uh, resume, if you are hoping to resume by September or October of 2024, you should um, apply for admission from now up until the 31st of March. That is for <clears throat> University of Leoben. Now let's talk about scholarship available at the University of Leoben. Yes, University of Leoben. So from what you're seeing here, you see that uh, they have quite a number of uh, grant and scholarship available. Among them is Erasmus and Mobility Grant Opportunity, Erasmus and International Credit Mobility, which of course is for international applicant. And then they have the Melissa program, which is also um, another um, scholarship opportunity. Then they also have um, other grants and scholarship opportunity for international applicants and European applicants that want to come to the University of Leoben to study. So what you just have to do is to, um, uh, I mean, click on each of these grants or each of these scholarship that is available and read more about them. I will not be able to talk details about each of these scholarship. I'm just going to be able to show you the names of each of the scholarship. So it will now be left for you to read details, to read in detail each of the school and their various scholarship opportunities that are available including the document, the criteria, the eligibility status, among other things that will help your applications. Mind you, like I said, Austrian universities has the cheapest school fees in Europe so far, but that does not mean that even if they are charging 720 or 750 per semester, that does not mean that you can still not be uh, um, schooling on a scholarship and you still be getting a stipend for living expenses. So that is why I, I took my time to research each of these scholarships to be able to bring it away. So those are the, I mean, these are the scholarships that are available for University of Liubi. And if you need more information regarding this scholarship, you can also send an email to this email and then they will be able to respond to you. Now that is for University of Liubin. Now. University of Leuven. So let's check um, the next one that we are going to check is University of Klagenfurt. Yes, University of Klagenfurt. Prior to now, I think I've, I've, I've said in one of my video, just briefly, I've, I've said uh, the uh, University of Cla I've, I've, I've said it out there that the University of Klagenfurt application has already opened. So let's quickly look at it. So in circle, you see that for BSc, 
the applications for BSc it started from all generally all applications started for from 8th of January and for BSc it's going to end by 5th of February CJ for BSc admission all applications to University of Klagenfurt all application for you to University of Klagenfurt for BSc is going to end by 5th of February all of them started from 8th of January however for <clears throat> MSc and PhD admission, it's going to end by 31st of March. So don't forget this admission timeline I'm talking about is for those international applicants, Nigerians, I mean, um, South Africa, Ghanaians, and the likes that are seeking to, you know, start schooling by September or October of this year, 2024. So that is that for the University of Klagenfurt. Take note of this admission timeline that's already started. Like I said earlier from my introductions, all admissions have already are started. However, in some school, there are differences between when BSc application closes and when PhD or master's application closes. One of them is University of Klagenfurt. Now, let's look at the, um, let's look at the scholarship opportunities available at the University of Klagenfurt for both EU and international applicants. So we have a digital scholarship awarded for the sixth time. We have a Y Best Performer Award and Technology Scholarship. And then we have um, 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 about Mohamed Salem Journey of Passion Scholarship and Technological Advancement. So it depends, like I said, you have to read extensively. You have to research each of these scholarship opportunities from the website of the university page to be able to read details about each of them to determine whether you are qualified to apply or not. And another, <clears throat> on the same University of Klagenfurt, we have a wide technology scholarship and University of Klagenfurt technology scholarship. So depending on the course that you're applying for, because some courses or sc some scholarship are particularly uh, meant for some courses at the uh, at the various universities that I'll be talking about today. So you just have to note each of the scholarship and which course they are particularly meant for. Now, that is for University of Klagenfurt. Now, let's go to, let's go to, um, let's go to the University of Vienna. Yes, University of Vienna. So University of Vienna application, like I, said has also started since the January, since the 8th of January and it's going to end by 31st of March. And if you remember from my introduction as well, all applications have started since 8th of January. And from what I observed in my research, all of them, all of them is going to end by 31st of March for international applicants. So um, it's, it has started and it's going to, so which of course, if you want to resume by October, and then uh, October or September of this year, that's why, I mean, that means this timeline or this deadline is meant for you and you need to take note of it. So this is for University of Vienna. And let's quickly look at the scholarship opportunity available at the same University of Vienna. So uh, from what I can gather, they only have one scholarship opportunity in video, I mean, which covers uh, uh, various uh, um, 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 applicants, so from international applicant, asylum seeker, from uh, ref refugees, probably from Ukraine, re Ukraine refugees, or any other country refugees, people granted subsidiary protections, depending on your status as an international immigrant. So that is what will determine your eligibility to apply for uh, this scholarship at the University of Vienna. Now, so let's look at University of Innsbruck. Yes, University of Innsbruck. University of Innsbruck applications for bachelor program started from the 8th of January as well, and it's going to also end by 5th of February next, next week or thereabouts, by 5th of February or next two weeks. So by 5th of February for bachelor program, it's going to end by 5th of February. That is for University of Innsbruck. While for master's and for PhD, it started 
from the 8th of January and it's going to end by the 31st of March, 31st of March of 2024. That is the deadline for the <clears throat> that is the deadline for the applications. While the University of Innsbruck also have some scholarship, but they have quite a, a, a number of them, scholarship funding opportunities and prizes. So uh, they have guidelines on award uh, awarding performance based. So they have performance based scholarship. They also have University of Innsbruck sponsored scholarship. They have grants and scholarship. And um, let's check let's check a few more. Uh, let's check a few more for the same University of Innsbruck. So the same University of Innsbruck information on performance based scholarship. That's another one. Call for application for needs based scholarship. Call for application for performance based scholarship. Archived or expires call for University of Innsbruck scholarship. So they, they have a, a host of them at the University of Innsbruck. So, and in fact, I, I, I was only able to pick um, uh, the first page of the scholarship um, uh, pages. They, they have page one, page two, page three. So I only took about three. So <clears throat> I only took about two to three screenshots from their pages. So which means they have quite a number of them that you will still have to go through to be able to see the scholarship opportunity that you want to apply to. Now, let's talk about University of Grass. <clears throat> University of Grass, yes. Now, University of Grass applications also opened or started from the 4th of January and is going to end by March 20th for bachelor or diploma studies. See it, bachelor or diploma studies. Started from the 4th of January and it's going to end by March 20th for bachelor program. While for master program and doctorate program, <clears throat> it started from the 4th of January and it's going to end by April 30th. April 30th for master's program and for PhD program. That is the, this timeline is for international applicants. So, um, so I, I'm not, I, I, <clears throat> I did not cover, I'm not, I mean, so I'm not talking about the EU or EEA uh, citizen. <clears throat> uh, apologies, <clears throat> pardon my voice. So I'm not talking about, so I'm not talking about EU or EEA applicant. I'm talking about international applicants. So which means this, um, application deadlines that I'm giving or timeline that I'm giving to everyone is for Africans, Africans who want to go to Austria and they need to know the timeline. So University of Grass for bachelor, it ends by March 20th, while for masters and PhD, it will end by April 30th. It started from January 4th. That is that. Now let's quickly look at some um, scholarship opportunity available at the same University of Graz. Now, University of Graz will have um, Austrian Study Age Authority. So you can read more information. They have grant and scholarship opportunity, uh, grant and scholarship opportunity available as well. They have performance scholarship. They have funding scholarship, uh, which is the right for is funding scholarship is a one is a one time scholarship between seven hundred and fifty euro and three thousand six hundred euro for. Uh, that scholarship and they have GUB completion scholarship, which is Grass University Association scholarship. They, they also have Best of Southeast scholarship, Southeast scholarship. So, depending on the um, on the type of the course that you want to apply to, that's what we determine the type of scholarship that you will be eligible to apply for. Now, another one is Best of Southeast scholarship. Like I said, the merit scholarship. The scholarships are one day awarded under private sector administration by the Dean of Students, the GUB completion scholarship, which award up to 600 euros per month for a duration of three months based on demonstration need. Then we have Marshall Plan Scholarship, International Office, uh, then IDA PIFA Scholarship, that is for also International Office. So, which means international applicants can majorly look into this scholarship. Uh, I think it covers the, regardless of the courses that you want to apply for because it's mainly for the international uh, office. So that is that for the scholarship at the University of Grass. 
Now, let's look at uh, Grass University of Technology. Grass University of Technology. You know, I told you that uh, in Austria, they have many universities for purely uh, medicine, technical college, and you know, general uh, universities for studies like uh, business administration, among other things. So they have quite a number of them. So Grass University of Technology is another a university that you can look into the past and I think majorly sciences, engineering and the like are the kind of courses that uh, is uh, particularly done in this university or in this school. So their admission for bachelor started also for bachelor started from the 8th of January and is going to end by 31st of March, while for masters it started from the 8th of January up until the 30th of April of this month, including doctoral programs, including doctoral programs. So, however, for doctoral program, generally, some of them, uh, even if you apply, you, they will still request, some of them will request that, uh, uh, depending on the type of research you want to do, you look for a lecturer that will want to work with you. So it is when you have um, an understanding with a lecturer, that's when you can now officially submit your application. So that is when they give you admission, it's guaranteed that you will have somebody to uh, work with you or to be your supervisor. So <clears throat> that is for uh, uh, Technical uh, University of Grass. Um, so let's let's look at another. Um, let's look at, at another one. But of course, stays on this same Technical University of Grass. Technical, I mean, sorry, Grass University of Technology. That that is for university. That is, and that is for Grass University of Technology. That is for Grass University of Technology. Let's quickly look at the scholarship opportunity available in this Grass University of Technology. Grass University of Technology. So uh, they have scholarship for uh, 100, uh, about 100 applicants, mechanical engineering scholarship. Elstar Modos, Modos for Scholarship. They have, uh, I, I might not be able to pronounce this name, Bostapin VAE Scholarship. So that's why I said you have to, my job is to pro provide you the name of each of the scholarship. Once you know each of the name of the scholarship, your own job is to go read further to know, okay, does this scholarship fit into my own course of study? So that is for grass. <clears throat> University of Technology. Say, <clears throat> still the same Grass University of Technology. They have a quite, uh, <clears throat> they have quite a number of them. Application for bachelor scholarship, TU Grass. They also have uh, another one for uh, TU Grass. Hundred, uh, hundred TU Grass. So uh, then, uh, which is organizational base, organizational basis, mission statement, key objective, and that is. Um, that is for that. And then they also have another one, which is uh, application master scholarship. That I think will be for, uh, uh, um, um, it, will, it will be for international applicants that want to apply for master at the uh, university, uh, sorry, at the um, technical university of grass or grass university of technology. Grass University of Technology. Now, let's look at the last um, um, scholarship opportunity available at Grass University of Technology. And then, um, like I told you, they have quite a number of them. You see, I'm only just within page one and page two that I took a screenshot. They have up to page three, page four, page five, up to 10. So that is for Grass University of Technology Scholarship. So they have a, quite a number of them. So Energy, Energy Styria Scholarship, Alt Pool Scholarship, Application Master Scholarship. So they, they have quite a number of them. You just have to research them to be able to uh, find what, what you are looking for. Now, that is for Grass University of Technology. Another university is Medical University of Grass. Medical University of Grass. In fact, um, most of the universities that I've mentioned earlier have medical universities. That, that means they have universities specifically designed 
only for um, um, a medical student, you know, nursing, where you can study nursing, you want to be a doctor and the like. So Medical University of Graz is one of them. The admission timeline uh, has already started as well, and it's going to end for master's students. It's going to end by 31st of March. So by 31st of March, the yeah, master's applications or PhD applications is going to end. So which means both BSc, MSc, and PhD applicants for considering September to October uh, resumptions need to uh, apply to this timeline. Now, let's quickly look at the um, the scholarship opportunity available at Medical University of Grass. So we, they have um, outgoing staff mobility, they have uh, international student mobility, they have student achievement and degree staff unit, which is, um, and, and these are the name of each of the scholarship that you can and, uh, you can apply for. Another one is um, a dean, of dean of Study Affairs Ukraine. You know, this one is particularly uh, uh, meant for uh, students from the Ukraine wars and the likes with Russia. So if you are from, if you are studying medicine in Ukraine, you want to go to any, uh, you want to go to Medical University of Grass, you can particularly apply for uh, this scholarship. Now, but of course, you have to also read their criteria and eligibility status. So another one is clinical rotations or trainee traineeship at Med Uni Grass. So that is another that is another one. So on the same one for the Medical University of Grass, they have diversity and accessibility scholarship, organization unit, gender unit scholarship. They have research field scholarship and you can go to the second page to see all the available scholarship opportunity that they have there now another university that we'll quickly talk about is medical university of vienna yes medical university of vienna their application as well has started from the 8th of january and for uh, bsc applicants it's going to end by 5th of february while for um, um, MSc and PhD, it started from the 6th, it's going to start by the, from the 6th of February, and it's going to end by 31st of March, 2024. That is for Medical University of Vienna. So those considering nursing, medical student, pharmacy, and the likes. So you should kindly take note of this um, application timeline. Now, on the same, Medical University of Vienna, let's quickly look at their scholarship opportunity. They have um, tuition fee slash med uni Vienna. That is one of the scholarships, student mobility for practical training, med uni Vienna. And they have cash in Wima awarded George Stormfield Cancer Research Scholarship. That is for, uh, for Medical University of Vienna. Another one is Kristin Wima awarded George Storm Cancer Research Scholarship. Also, Melinda Ademi awarded MRC DTP scholarship and vice chancellor award from Cambridge University. Um, still on the same one, they also have uh, Melinda Ademi awarded, you know, awarded um, MRC DTP scholarship and vice chancellor award from Cambridge University. <clears throat> um, so now, lastly, for the Med Uni. Um, they also have Joan's Lane's Wins Job Storm Scholarship. Still, Joan's Lane Wins Job Storm Scholarship. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the name very well, but at least with the picture, because it's most of them are written in Dutch. So, but with the picture, you will be able to uh, do justice to the understanding and the applications of each of these scholarship. So that is for medical. University of Vienna. So they, all, they also have, uh, like I said, they have various medical um, uh, schools that is particularly designed for um, um, applications for uh, a student from the nursing, from the medical student, the pharmacy, among anything related to uh, medicine. They have um, a school particularly designed for that. So and like I said, generally from my research, they are, most of the application is going to end by the 31st of March. So, you know, but however, a few of them is going to end by April. So just take note of this 
scholarship. And I believe that uh, it's going to really um, help your jackpot plan this year. So if you have made it this far, it's so uh, it's an honor to have uh, presented this information your way. And uh, please help us to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this weekly, after, of course, researching them and you know looking at what we believe will be very, very useful and, and essential to your jackpot plan, we will bring it your way weekly. And then when you subscribe and you like, you will be the first person to get notification. And then you can always equip yourself and you know have all the right information that you need to aid your jackpot plan. Thank you very much. Of course, also follow us on all our social media platforms as is displayed on the screen. It's really an honor bringing this information and opportunity our way once again. Thank you very much for those of you that have already subscribed and, of course, uh, partaking in the opportunity and the information we shared. Uh, I mean, we are, we are sharing today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for those that will also subscribe, the new subscribers that are coming in. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.